Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, we're gonna talk about what can you drink in a longer fast. So if you are new to my channel, I just wanna say welcome. I'm a woman on a mission to get a million people here fasting. This is our way out of chronic disease. As you will learn in all of my videos here, we know fasting brings down inflammation, it reverses insulin resistance, it can start to heal neurons in your brain, it can balance hormones. It's crazy what fasting can do. So welcome, subscribe, hit the notification button so that you can get access to all my new videos when I bring them to you. And those of you that share my videos out, again, massive love for you, appreciate it, and I love being on this journey with you. Okay, it's Fast Training Week. So once a month for five days, we fast together, and this month we are doing the three-day water fast. So you will notice, go back and look at all the videos that I put out here in the last week, they've all been around this longer fast, specifically the three-day water fast. So to me, a longer fast is 24 hours or more. So I laid out in all of these videos what those, like what the 36 hour and 48 hour and 72 hour fast will do for you. So go back and watch some of those videos. But on this video, I wanna talk about what you can drink. Now remember, our Fast Training Week is now sponsored by Element. I'm gonna talk a little bit about Element here in a moment because some of you, we got feedback, are seeing that your blood sugar is going up with Element very rare, but we'll talk about why. But they are sponsoring my Fast Training Week and giving a free box away. So if you wanna learn how to win, just put companion guide in the note, in your comments, and my team will send you a link to get the companion guide, tell you how to win a box of this. And if you wanna join me in a 15-day experience, I'm starting one next week, 15 days of different types of fasts and eats, eating styles specifically meant to help you burn fat better. So it's our fat burner reset, starts next week. Just put fat burner reset in the comments and my team will give you a, a link. Okay, ready? Here we go. Let's drum roll because this question I get on lives all the time. So the first, when you are trying to figure out if a drink is okay for you in a longer fast, you've got to test your blood sugar, please. That, uh, that is the most scientific way to do this. How that looks is you take your Keto Mojo or your CGM or whatever blood sugar reader you have, you take a blood sugar reading, you don't need to take a ketone reading, then you drink the drink, whatever it is, maybe it's Element, and then half hour later you take another reading. Are those two readings equal? If the second reading goes up, pulled you out of a fasted state, if it goes down, awesome. It's actually putting you deeper into a fasted state. If it stays balanced, that also can be quite good and just means it didn't touch your blood sugar and it's, it's an approved drink. So know what is going to pull you out of a fasted state. You might do coffee and be fine. I might do coffee and not be fine. So this is why we have to test. It's our microbiome that really has an influence on our blood sugar levels. So I want you to test. Okay, second thing I want you to know is that when you're drinking in a longer fast, there are really two things that are best to drink. The first is water. It's a water fast. So even clean water. So please make sure that you're using some type of filtration. If you go to drmindypels.com, I've got a lot of resources there. I've got clearly filtered uh, is a pitcher that's really takes out, it's, it's less expensive and will take out toxins all the way up to some reverse osmosis ideas on there. So make sure that it is clean water. Those of you that love hydrogen water, that would also be great. Um, and you can find more about hydrogen water in the Resetter podcast I did with Dr. Paul. You can go to iTunes and find that. The second thing that would be really great are minerals. So this is Element. Rob Wolf actually created these for fasters, specifically lo longer fasts. So water with minerals is literally the best thing to use when you fast. So some of you told us, well, gosh, Element is making my blood sugar go up. Very rare, the more you fast, it'll, it'll bring it down, I, I promise you. But what I would encourage you to do is you can get the unflavored one for sure. 
Um, or when you break your fast at the end of this whole three day water fast, start adding more minerals in before you do your next longer fast. So that would be another option. Okay, but that's best. Water and minerals, absolutely best. The cleaner the water, the better. The other thing I want you to realize is that there's some things that are kind of in the gray area. They're sort of in this medium place. Carbonated water is one of them. So LaCroix water, uh, Pellegrino's, Grolsteiner is my favorite because Grolsteiner has more minerals. Um, Topo Chico, loved Cho Topo Chico for so long, but then we found out that they had a lot of forever chemicals in there, so we stopped buying Topo Chico. Um, but mineral water is kind of like, it might work, it might not, up to you. Um, you want to make sure if you're getting a mineral water, it doesn't have any of this NutraSweet. Um, a stevia may or may not work for you. That gets gray. Some people it works well, some don't. So any chemical or artificial sweetener in there may pull you out of a fasted state. So you're going to need to test it. What about coffee and tea with MCT oil? Well, I'm a little more of a fasting purist. I like in the longer fast for you to get off a of coffee. I have had some conversations with Dave Asprey. He's a fan of doing clean coffee with some MCT oil. When you go into longer fasts, he feels like it's a really good way to make sure that um, you get into that ketogenic fat burning energy system a little quicker. So if you wanna do clean coffee with some MCT oil, I put it in the middle medium category. Okay, now what are the worst? These are the worst that I, please don't do this. Well, any soda pop, just because it's a drink, if it has sugar in it, it's gonna pull you out of fasted state. But diet drinks make you insulin resistant. So no Diet Cokes, no NutraSweet of any kind. Um, alcohol, not a great idea. Even dry farm wines, not good to do in a longer fast. Um, any kind of drink in any way, shape or form, that's like, I've had people ask me about juice. I'm gonna do a, you're gonna see a video that comes out tomorrow on juice fasting. What do I think of it? So anything that raises your blood sugar, not a fan. Those are the worst. Soda, not a fan. Um, alcohol, not a fan for these longer fasts. Now, what about broth? What about if you wanna do bone broth? Well, tomorrow I've got a video coming out talking about the differences between water, vegetable, and bone broth. So please go and watch that. And I also want to just point out, since we're talking about lit longer fasts, that women, we never should go into a longer fast the week before our period. I've done a lot of videos on that. Um, please make sure if you have a chronic condition that you're involving your doctor um, and always measure. Always know your blood sugar numbers in these longer fasts. So hope that helps. If you want to join me for the next Fat Burner Reset, just put Fat Burner Reset in there. And if you don't have a companion guide by now, I'd put companion guide in your notes and uh, comments and make sure you get one. Those of you that have a favorite drink that match what I just said, put it in the comments so people can learn from you and what your experience has been. Hope that helps.